Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and today I want to show you how to take the KDE digital clock applet and make it so that when you're showing the date, the time and date have the same font size. If you don't show the date, it'll look like that. But if you do show the date, after modifying it, it'll look like this. No, this is just an applet that I have modified. I've copied it, copied the applet, and then renamed it so that it does not interfere with the default, which looks like this. I need to uh, add the, I don't know why it keeps going up here. I need to show the date, and it looks really big like this. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to change that. So what you want to do is open up Dolphin, or whatever your default file man, whatever your file manager is that you use, and then you're going to go to, I need to find it first, user, share, I think it's under plasma, plasma, plasmoids, org.ke.plasma.digital clock. What you want to do is you'll want to copy this folder and then you'll want to go to home you want to show hidden files dot local share plasma plasmoids. Now I'm going to delete my version. Actually I'm just going to move this to desktop. Move here. I'm just going to move that to my desktop so it does not interfere. And then you'll we'll want to paste one folder and then go into here. Now the reason why we want to copy into here is because we don't want to accidentally have it overwritten if it gets updated. Now if you right click on this uh, show alternatives it won't show the other one because it's no longer installed. We moved it out. So go under contents, UI, digitalclock.qml this will go into Kate. I'm going to oops. I'm going to maximize this. Now you'll want to go to line 100 around 180. Right up here where it says main dot height times 0 0.56. Uh, as you can see in this comment it says value 0 0.56 seems to be chosen rather arbitrarily as well such that the time label is slightly larger than the date or time zone label and still fits well with well into the panel with all the applied margins. We don't want that. So what we want to do is change it to 0 0.40 and then save and then we're not done yet. We want to go down to line this line. Uh, it was in my version it's line 409 but line 399 in the default change this to return 0 point wait no 0 point 40 and then you save it and I'm just gonna do 0 point I'm just gonna search for 0 0.56 and see where it shows up and that's actually that's actually it just in this one comment here. So we're gonna we're gonna save it, close that, right click, if you show alternatives, change it to say event calendar, we'll change to that, show alternatives to digital clock, our version, I want to click on it, configure digital clock, show date, oh okay, and so it shows up like this, but the only problem is the date is smaller. Now why is the date smaller? Well, um, I don't know, but I'm going to go into back into di digital clock. I need to compare these. Hang on one second. So we also have to change the size. 0.8 or 0 0.8 okay um, we also need to change the size I did a diff on the files and I don't know what line this is 
but I'm going to copy this and we're going to search for it. Okay, is that the only one? Time zone label, date label. Okay, I think this is it. So we're going to change this. Change that to 1.0. Save it. Switch this to event calendar or another option. I mean, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. Change it back to digital clock. Uh, configure digital clock. Show date. And it should be the same size. No, it's not. I'm going to change this to 1.0. Save it. Change it again. Show date. It's two different sizes. So this should, that should be enough. And then if you change it at line, I'm going to leave this up. Three ninety nine, four zero nine, Okay, that's all the way through there. And then four zero nine, and then one five two line one fifty two. Uh, yeah, it has that. It should. This should just show it. No, it doesn't. Maybe if you change the height. No, I'm going to log out and log back in and see if that changes it. It should. Oh. No, I need to be quick. My recording is... I don't have that much file, si file space. Oh, there we go. It actually shows it correctly. At least I think that's the correct. Thing. So if we do custom, month, day, year, 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 wait, no, is it capital M? Yeah. So there we go. It kind of shows it like Windows style. And um, if this help, if this, wait, no, actually, I mean, there's more to do if you want to have it not override the digital clock, but this is just the basic one. Um, if you want to have it override the digital or the default one, I would recommend changing this folder here, file name, folder name there if you want, and go into the metadata.json and um, in here somewhere there's an ID. You want to change that to something else whatever you want and then um, you'll also need to go into the metadata.desktop open it and then change the name up there and then the comment if you want to then you also have to change the xkde plugin info name there would there's it might be a bit difficult to do this uh, and then the name name where name right there you'll want to change that to something other than the default and then it should show your version right next to the default KDE digital clock so um, but that's just if you want to it's not required to have it go on to two lines like that. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best I can. I'll put the numbers and the lines that you'll need to change to, or the lines that you'll need to change in the numbers that you'll need to change them to below in the, uh, in the description. And goodbye for now.